Hello, Hollywood Times viewers. Judy Shields here. We are so excited to welcome author Jimmy Craig. Hi, Jimmy. How you doing? Doing well. Where are you Thanks dialing in from? Uh, I'm just north of Boston. Oh, how's your weather back there? It is pouring right now. How about you? It is. Well, you know, we had Hurricane Hillary come through, which was... <clears throat> good for us <laughs> you know, yeah. it wasn't too bad so we prepared for it i guess it's a good thing to prepare for things and uh so but you know we don't have the weather you guys do <laughs> yeah it's been a uh very 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 wet summer does that bring humidity is it worse there for you guys yeah it's um it gets really hot in the summer and really cold in the winter but um sorry that's off. okay i um I like the variety, though. I've grown to appreciate it. Were you born and raised there? Yes, I was. Oh, there you go. So you're a Boston Red Sox fan. Yep. Patriots fan. Yep. Celtics. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> we got it all is, of them. Bruins. A, yeah, oh, that's right. It is, yeah. yeah, forget about the hockey, huh? It's a great city. It's. Yeah. I've been there a couple of times. It, it's beautiful. I can see why. You wouldn't want to leave. I was born and raised here in Southern California. So, you know, nice. <laughs> so, well, today we're here to talk about, let's see if it comes out. Sometimes it doesn't. How about there that? It is. There, there it is. Oh my gosh. This is so amazing. Um, the essential collection of they can talk comics. So what's the inspiration of you? Is this the first time you've done a book? So this is actually the second collection. The first okay. collection was two. 2018 maybe okay. um but this is the this is the essential collection because it was just i had a, a much deeper catalog to pull from this time around and it really did make a big difference um as opposed to putting all of my comics into a book this is like i had a lot to select from and i'm just really i love how this collection came together well kind of let's just start off from the beginning let's talk about sure. you uh as a baby and when did you first meet <laughs> comics so um i actually funny enough was very much raised around comics wow um, my dad always had like calvin and hobbs the far side uh, mother goose and grim and my nana was my nana was really into garfield oh uh, <laughs> she had like uh this hallway that was this like long pantry and it was like floor to ceiling of cut out comic strips and then um she you know as i grew up she would mail me um uh, comic strips that she cut out of the newspaper for years i mean for like i mean forever like uh, really? so yeah and uh i mean they're still printing comics <laughs> in newspapers in new york apparently so she well, we still have them in the LA Times. That's why I, I like it. Just, you know, I show them yeah. to my, my grandson's four and it's just, you know, trying to get them. They're so in the video world. I have yeah. a 13 year old and it's just like, they don't want to bother. I'm like, look, this, someone took the time to draw this and let's read it. Cause I love them too. You know? <laughs> yeah. There's some like charm to, to comics that I think we, you don't get from other things, but um, I like, there was like this nostalgic factor for Calvin and Hobbes and the far side, especially for me. And then like when I read them as I was older, I was like, Oh, they're actually amazing. It was, it wasn't just this nostalgia that was like giving me this like affinity for them. It was like, Oh, they're actually like incredibly <laughs> good. So um, I've always just been around comic strips. And um, I think it was kind of like, I joke and say like, it was kind of in my DNA from, from day one. Oh my gosh. So the title, are you going to eat that? Where'd that come from? Really doesn't have much <laughs> significance outside of the fact that um, <laughs> the I had a couple of, of potential titles, like pulling um, some quotes from different comics, um, trying to do like a pun about pets in like literary classics. That was kind of <laughs> my first approach, but I think that um me and the publisher settled on the editor settled on this title because um it's something that a dog could be saying like it actually could be a quote from a dog and i was like i feel like it it kind of um it's a good representation of the the tone of the book 
<laughs> like it's uh kind of silly uh, like something that a dog could say but um also something a human could say so i always feel like i'm trying to walk that line of like human-ish things quotes but like definitely uh playing it real for animals so as far as pets what was the, your first pet that you had um i had wow first one was probably a gerbil and then a guinea pig maybe no actually it was guinea pig then hamster oh, wow. um and then a dog that i had for i think 12 years oh. um a big black lab shepherd uh mix and now i have two cats so back when you had like your hamster and guinea pig the guinea pigs are a little bit yeah. bigger right the guinea yes. pigs are yep. hamster small so back then did you uh did your animals talk to you to make comics you know <laughs> what i mean no so i actually remember the like first comic strip i ever did when i was probably in third grade i want to wow. i want to say was about two dogs um i didn't do any hamster or guinea pig related jokes but um <laughs> I was doing one. I started one about two dogs. That was like, I wish I still had it because I like clearly remember Aww. doing it, doing a handful of strips for it. I mean, not that they're, they probably are any good, but it's like, a, you. I'm kind of curious what my sensibilities were when I was yeah. you know, that young. Um, but yeah, the first one was two dogs. So you think that's kind of what started it and, and were your parents, you know, supportive because you know how it seems like when you oh, yeah. don't want to do the go to college or do all these other things, it's like really. <laughs> yeah, I um. So on my dad's side of the family, my my great grandfather was actually like a an artist and wow. uh, like fine artist and painter, and um, I think because of that, like my my nana and my family have always been really supportive of like uh, I think like they from an early age, they were like very uh, encouraging of like, oh, if you have this thing that is in our family, like we want to keep it going kind of thing. Um, so I think that my parents have been really supportive of it. And I did, like I went to school for, uh, I actually originally went to go to college for fine arts and I switched after first semester to an English major and I wanted to just focus on writing and that's still primarily like what I consider myself is like a writer first before like a cartoonist or illustrator um but my parents have always been really supportive I've been really lucky in that sense oh that's awesome I'm just I can't help myself but I have the book here and I was been going over it since I got it and last night I was going through it and you know you you have dogs you have cats you've got geese I mean it's like there's one I turned the first page it's it's this a goose and it's he's like what's in the jacket and you see a guy running and it, what's in the jacket i mean it's just like <laughs> uh, where does that come from <laughs> it's funny like uh most of the animals i would say 90 percent <laughs> of the comics are from like observable stuff that's like in my area if you like if you kind of pay attention the like you'll notice the animals are really they're like in new england um right. like if it's not a cat or a dog it's like a canadian goose or, or uh <laughs> pigeons or like the birds. the birds will typically beavers yes squirrels a lot of squirrel comics <laughs> i would say the, the besides cats and dogs the main ones are squirrels and geese I actually was writing a geese a goose one today yeah right <laughs> i mean it's just you even got i'm i'm assuming this is a, a the lions you know it's like it's oh did you have favorites of these? It's like, how do you choose when you put this book together? How do you choose which ones that go in here? Um, some, some, most of them like are like, I let other people decide as far as like, if the comics did well um, on Facebook, on Instagram, um, <laughs> those ones definitely go in the book. And then as far as the other ones, it's just like my personal favorites like if I had to pick one off the top of my head my favorites probably like it's squirrels talking and the squirrel is like oh I just love the sound of birds singing and the um the other squirrel says like oh I prefer the sounds of burrowing animals you know underground stuff 
So they're talking kind of like music snobs, but they're talking about animals. And um, I like that one specifically because I was like, it sounds just like two humans talking, but it's not like anthropomorphized, like, like animals. Like this can also be actual animals talking. So that was like a sweet spot where I was like, Ooh, this comic, uh, achieved that. <laughs> That's cool. I flip in the page. Here's one here of a couple birds and it's one of these fancy birds who knows what the name of it is kind of like puts its feathers up and it blows up. And then there's two other ones saying you used to dance like that for me. <laughs> I mean, I, those are uh, birds of paradise. Birds of paradise. Yeah. It's a, that's typical women who see that and go, <laughs> Oh, why don't you used to do that for me? Yeah, why yeah. are we like that? <laughs> yeah. So that's actually another good example of like, something humans could say but like also in this context it's like yes those animals totally could say something like that <laughs> oh and then there's one here with a, a snail and a shell it's like you know it's just so amazing when you when i got the book when i read it i'm like it's like it's exactly what a cat would say that's exactly what a dog would say it and, and pigeons i pigeons are so annoying but i love them you know, yeah, and I, I was going to see how many pigeon ones you had. And it's just like, I really like the pigeons. Yeah, the um, that was one of my really early comics that got really popular was a pigeon asking for directions. And the person <laughs> just throws seed on them. Yeah, um, <laughs> that's yeah, what we I do. Also, <laughs> I also love pigeons. They, look, they have like, they're, they look like they have such like little personalities. Right. And all just their different markings. And when they you do watch them, I mean, I've missed my bus because I'm looking up and watching these darn <laughs> pigeons and you hear bus sounds. Right. And I'm like, what yeah. are they? You know, and all of a sudden you. Oh, my God, there goes my bus. You know, <laughs> they, <laughs> they're kind of like fascinating. And I think wasn't it on uh, one of the cartoons, animated Animaniacs or one of those kind of shows? Didn't they yeah, have pigeons, the pigeons? Yeah. that talked? It was Animaniacs. Yeah. Animaniacs. Yeah. <laughs> That was like my favorite. They're kind of, you can find that stuff. I've actually introduced my grandkids to that stuff because I so love it. Pinky and the Brain oh, and all them. Right? I, I was oh. obsessed. I yeah. have my ringtones or some of the Animaniacs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. My dad loved Pinky and the Brain. Oh. That was like, that spoke to him apparently. But um, <laughs> I really loved Animaniacs. The show's great. I mean, um, like all the clippings that your your Nana sent you, is that something you put in a scrapbook or do you have those in a shoe? Yeah, I, I, mean, I still have some of them for sure. They're like, oh, um, how cool. cut out a lot of Garfield ones, a lot of BC, I think, for better or for worse, I think might have been her favorite strip. Um, yeah. Did she uh, write notes with it too when she would send it, like a little letter? Did she, oh, okay. yeah. yeah. I would get a card of just like random updates, and then there would be a stack of newspaper clipping comments in it. And where was your Nana living at that time? In New York. In New York. Yeah. Yeah. So, but she'd send it. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, I turned to another one. It's a, a, a beagle, which great dogs. And it says, huh, this tail has a little face. <laughs> <laughs> seriously a snake yeah. <laughs> oh i can't I, I could just go on and on and on these are just amazing you know there, there's yeah. one with of course flies i guess like doing juice and then around the corner have you ever tried blood which is a mosquito ah! <laughs> <laughs> how do you think of that one <laughs> yeah i don't know i think um <laughs> it's funny like i've had a handful of mosquito ideas that i have not done because people obviously don't like mosquitoes right so i feel like you really have to nail a joke for people to like the, for people to think the mosquito is funny yeah and uh, thankfully that comic w did really well but um <laughs> i definitely had a, a handful of mosquito related comics that i just didn't end up doing <laughs> <laughs> i'd be curious to hear about those but uh that, that was priceless <laughs> thank you wow so what else are you currently working on right now um i actually have other books that i'm working on that are very not related to they can talk at all they're like uh um doing it i'm starting a very big graphic novel project that uh 
isn't like out there yet, but um, it's in its very early stages and it, it'll be like a uh, very different than they can talk for sure. Yeah. But, uh, can you, can you tell us a teeny, teeny bit about it? Um, just that it will be fair. It will be um, like adult. <laughs> yeah. It'll be like, it's, it's a horror themed. Um, oh, cool. Uh -oh. Definitely different realm, but the the comedy I think will always kind of cut through in any project that I do. That yeah. will always have the same kind of sensibilities as far as uh, I don't, I've people have told me like it's very I have very dry humor, uh, <laughs> like dry sarcastic tongue in cheek humor. So I think that no matter what project I get my hands on, it will have that in it. Yeah. But as far as genre and like medium, this will be very different. How cool. And so when is that expected to see the light um, of day? Not for a while, probably yeah. a, over a year. That's, is it going to yeah. be a, a short novel? It's going to be medium, long, like long, you have any idea? long yeah. one, huh? Yes. And then it's going to be a movie, right? I think so. Yes. Oh, <laughs> actually. Great. Oh, my God. That sounds uh, really cool. <laughs> I think that in uh, this time next year, um, a daily calendar. So I have a, a far side one, which I've always had these on my desk. Yes. Um, there will be a They Can Talk one available through Andrews McMeal, the same one who does these ones for far side. We'll be uh, releasing a They Can Talk version uh, for 2025 and for 2026. Oh my gosh. No way. Um, I, I can't wait to have that. Yeah, that's the next thing for They Can Talk. And I will, um, I plan to keep doing the comic. Again, I have like some big projects coming up uh, in outside of They Can Talk, but I still will keep the comic going. And uh, I love doing it. Cool. And then are you, are these all your original drawings as well? Or? Yes. Yep. Yeah. And when did you start drawing? Young too? Yeah. Drawn Ninja Turtles when I was like. <gasps> like I was Ninja Turtles, my favorite. <laughs> Did you see the yeah. movie? <laughs> I loved it. I me too. I've seen it twice already. <laughs> oh really? I was yeah. like laughing way too hard in the movie theater. That's why I had to see it like, again. Yeah, it was great. I I loved it. I'm um I actually collect uh, Ninja Turtles like figures. So do I we. have um I have the a lot. Yeah. I have right. I have like um st I'm looking at some. I have like in the package original Ninja Turtles. Show us. I have take your, um, take your computer, show us the collection. I'll show you my absolute favorite ones. Oh, please do. Um, so <laughs> I literally have though, like um I have a lot, but these are my two favorites from <gasps> Turtles 2. Oh my gosh. And these are yeah. uh NECA toys, but to go along with these ones, um I have the originals oh actually this one's super shredder these are kind of <gasps> dusty look these at that like, um, these are like unopened yeah of course really old school like look check this out this price tag is three for ten dollars for oh this um, you are I definitely have, a collector uh, congratulations yeah, I, have, I didn't have a display case in here it's like downstairs but i have like a lot of tur i have like um I even have a quarter scale like turtles. They're like you do? Uh, over a f like I don't know, fourteen inches tall, maybe more than that. But yes, wow. I I love Ninja Turtles, and I'm like thrilled that it's like they're back. I know they they've been back for a while, but yeah, like, yeah but not like it this. Is, Wasn't now it the, the movie, way now they the movie is them? awesome. Oh, it was like what is, my son yeah. said. It's like, is it like cartoon? You know, like cartoon animation or something? Is that what they call the it? New movie. Yeah. Yeah, it's still CG, but yeah, it's like a really unique style. And like, it looked like almost like claymation, but it was claymation, so yeah. Cool. It, but it, it wasn't, was, it was, it was a uh, computer animation. Yeah. But um, it was so good. It was so funny. <laughs> it was great. I'm like, I, you know, watching, I'm like, is that Jackie Chan? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> so, I don't like to read about casting. the movies before I see them. I don't like yeah. to know who's in them. I try not to, you know, yeah. so like you'd be totally surprised. And when I, Oh, that yeah. was a great surprise then. Yeah. And my kids are looking <laughs> at me like, really mom. And my grandson's grandma. I'm like, I didn't know. I told you, I, I want to be yeah. totally surprised. 
even doing what I do, I just like, no. <laughs> yeah, I could totally do like a full podcast on just like my Ninja Turtle collectibles because I'm like, I have a lot and I'm kind of obsessed. But so do you have a podcast too? What is it? Do you have a podcast as well? No, I was saying, I was oh. saying jokingly that I could do one because I could talk about them for a long time. Just well, like started. Really, you know how popular that will be. I really love some of these toys. Look like, at him. These are the this. This isn't really good light, but like the NECA toys. Oh, look that at they, that these detail! Are just like these are amazing. But this is probably my my favorite one. I mean, that looks like a model they use for a movie. You know, totally, that's how detailed, yeah. right? Oh, he's one of my favorite characters. Yeah, same. <laughs> I love how they brought them all in the movie. You know, look at look at that. Yeah, oh. Supposedly, like, this is for Ninja Turtles 2 that they couldn't license Bebop and Rocksteady, so they made these two other villains. And I'm like, oh. I was like, that was great. We got these two new people who are awesome. Yeah, at least they um, did awesomeness. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So yeah, I you... also collect uh, comics, too. I have a lot of uh, original comics from, like, artists I like, too. Uh, yeah. But... Two things so I collect, Ninja Turtle stuff and um, comic strips. So who, what are your favorite comics, like growing up? Um, definitely um, Calvin and Hobbes is my favorite. Mm -hmm. Far Side is probably my biggest influence as far yeah. as like my writing style. Um, those two are the top two for sure. And then I would say Mother Goose and Grimm and uh, Monty. Mm. Um. Monty, I know, I feel like was off a lot of people's radar. It ran in the Boston Globe for a while. That's how I was exposed to it. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I read that one when I was in high school, so it was like a little bit older than when I was reading Calvin Hobbes and the Far Side, and I like loved it. It was really good. Wow, my gosh, amazing! So, do you go out to any um, uh, um, like fan fairs or what conventions? Do you do any of that? Yeah, I did Boston Comic Con before, and um, I I'm not doing anything this year, but probably next year I'll like do a round of them, but not sure yet. They're like a, it's like kind of a lot to, to do one. Um, I bet. Just like being there all day for three days straight now, um, but I think I'll I'll likely do at least one next year, maybe two. Do you do like the one in New Orleans or Comic Con in San Diego? Those kind of stuff. Do you ever do no, those? No, um, I'd like to do San Diego at some point. Um, yeah. See how this graphic novel goes, but yeah. uh, <laughs> I have not been to San Diego. Just New York and Boston. Okay, yeah, out back there on the East Coast. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Well, we we hope that you come out to uh, Comic Con in San Diego. That would be great. You know, yeah. to all of us have a chance to come and meet you and see your stuff in person and, uh, yeah. you know, get an autograph and stuff. So try to make that happen. For sure. In the meantime, I do have uh, prints on my, on my site. If people want to check those out. Yeah. What is your social media so we can find you? Anything just search. They can talk. Um, but the, okay. my prints are on, they can talk.com and, um, I sign all the prints that people order. Oh, nice. And, um, people like have been, like really supportive this past couple of months, like buying them from all over the world. Um, so mm -hmm. I just like restocked my supply. I went to the print shop and I got like a ton of more comics because um, people were buying them. So, nice. uh, but as far as like uh, social media, just check, they can talk on uh, Instagram, Facebook and Webtoon as well. Okay. And uh, Tiny View is a new uh comic app that i'm part of and there's some really great cartoonists on there too that are definitely worth checking out and then the, the book they'll be able to get on where they can buy books yep, anywhere Amazon or any of those yep all right yeah we'll put a we'll put a link up for that and stuff and we'll cool. put all your social media as well and uh, we're at the hollywood times today and we also have a youtube uh hollywood times original so uh you follow us and we'll follow you cool so we appreciate you taking the time uh, to talk with us. And uh, once again, congratulations on this. It's uh, it's it's amazing. It's hilarious. And we'll make sure all of our readers, um, you know, I always say buy one, buy one for your family members, but also yeah. buy one for your library, your local library. Yeah. Put it in the it's library. a great gift. It's yeah. for cat people, dog people, like uh, somehow they both seem to enjoy it. 
hey, there's people out here that have pigeons for pets. So, yeah. hey, come on, if you got a pigeon, <laughs> you go, this, this is yeah. for your, your pigeon fans, you know? Yes, something for everyone. We like sharks, so get the shark ones in here too. <laughs> totally. Great shark ones. So thank you for taking the time to talk with us cool. today. Thank you too. That was great. Thank you.